see many guys like coming to the to the body gym and like right away just pumping, pumping, pumping. It's not worth it to do that at all, you know? It's, it's better like less, but to, to do it correctly. All right guys, thanks for coming out. Today we've got a full blown day of three killer workouts. So we're gonna start off with a leg workout. I'll leave the other two workouts as a surprise. Not just a leg workout though, today we're focusing on quads. So we are gonna build two big ass pillars. The pillars that hold up the rest of the tempo. So this is for guys who wanna go from kid quads to quadzilla. All right, so we're gonna be focusing on the three most effective quad exercises. Back squats, front squats, and hack squats. We got your dynamic warm up done. We'll move right into our uh, rehearsal sets and get cracking. Show me, I never did it before. You guys have never done front squats? Okay. Yeah. Okay guys, so front squats without straps. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna find a place to rest the bar. So this is gonna be on the front of your deltoids. That's where the most meat is. That's where it'll feel most comfortable. You wanna pull this right into your throat. So you want it fairly close. You don't want it to start falling forward. As it gets heavier, that will happen. You're gonna to wanna to dump the weight forward. You need to keep this attached to your body. I actually, actually shove down. I actually pull the bar into my shoulder so it's nice and tight. You wanna find a stance that allows you to get nice and deep and then you just sink sink into the hole, okay? When I'm going into the hole, I'm not thinking down, I'm actually thinking backwards. So I want you to think about pushing your hips back and we'll come up, all right? Neck is neutral the whole time and you guys come down as low as your available range of motion takes you. Stay upright, there you go. Keep your elbows higher. Okay, rack it. Oh. Should work on my legs. You train your legs? I hope so. I'm training at home. That's it, what I do. Oh, you don't train in the gym? Never? So yeah, you, you have a you have a squat rack at your house? You don't? All right. And the only thing I do is sometimes I put my wife on my shoulders. It's 55 kilos. Did my you say your Did home. you say your wife? Oh, okay. She's 55 kilos and you yeah. put her on your shoulders? Okay. So the only way you're going to get bigger if she gets bigger. <laughs> that doesn't She's, work out for I you. Wanna, I, I don't want to. It, it works for your muscles, it, no. but <laughs> One, two, so you gotta slow that down, my friend. One, two, three, explode up, good. You guys ready for your first work set? Yeah. Okay, so what we've got here is eight sets of four to six. Four to six reps means that you can't do seven reps. If you can do seven reps, the weight was too light. You guys get a full recovery. When I say full recovery, I mean take it, sit down, rest, all right? Three to four minutes, keep the stopwatch on. So when it comes to getting stronger, the name of the game is micro progressions. And these guys are your best friends, all right? Not the 25s, not the 45s. If you wanna get stronger, you gotta go up in small increments. So get the stopwatch on, three to four reps, three to four minutes. This is called a complete recovery, guys. So we're letting the whole nervous system really recover. The main thing you need to understand is that strength-based workouts, getting stronger is gonna help you get more out of your size-based workouts. If you never spend time getting stronger, you're simply working with less strength, and less strength is gonna produce less tension. And tension is the name of the game when you wanna get bigger, all right? So strength, ultimately, is for most guys a limiting factor to producing their maximal size gains. Get stronger and you'll get bigger. Maximize the entire base of support you've got. Good. On three to four minute rests, with about 30 seconds before the set starts, you should be back in the zone and really visualizing what that next set's gonna look like. Five more sets, then? Sorry? Five more sets. Five more sets, yeah. Five more. Keep climbing. You're just going down. You need to create tension in your quads on the way down. Don't just unload the tension. You're just, you're just dropping. And, when, and the negative is the most important part of the movement. All the muscle, all of the size gains, all your strength gains come from the eccentric portion of the movement, not the concentric. Okay. The eccentric is more important. Keep that neck neutral, Hugo. Neutral neck. Chin down. Chin down. Just keep your neck neutral. There you go. There you go. Yeah, now I feel the, the weight on my feet. I'm just trying to, to keep it in the middle. Now keep this foot flat. Good, come down. Just pause right there, that's it. That's as far as you can go. Come back up. That's your range of motion that you've got available. Back down and press up through the entire foot. Good. I was, I was more of the shy, like a shy, shyer person in high school. Uh, you know, I did a lot of computer programming and kind of kept to myself for the most part. And uh, since I took an interest in 
you know, muscle building, fitness, uh, it's really brought me out of my shell to some degree. I've become more confident overall, easier to talk to people, easier to talk to girls, that kind of thing, so. Good. Use your quads. Come on, use those big trunks. Come on. Use your quads. They're strong. Use them. Contract. Good. Try and stay smoother. Try and stay smoother. Dialing up that intensity, that's what I like to see. That rest period should be feeling shorter and shorter as these sets roll on. At the start, it feels long, right? Yeah. Three to four minutes, it feels like an eternity, right? By the end, that three to four minutes should be just flying by. Yeah. If it's not, the weight selection is wrong. This is Mike, guys. Mike's joining us. This is Jay, Matt, Daniel, and Hugo. Mike, welcome. Mike's Mike jumping in. Guys. He's fresh, so he's going to bring a new pace to the workout. All right, so we're on to uh, back squats, heels elevated. So for the, the, the um, the height, you know, that's debatable. Um, that's something you're gonna have to play with on your own. A lot of people say the higher the elevation, the more knee issues. I've never experienced that. For most guys, two and a half pounds to five pound plates are a good place to start. Heels elevated helps you achieve more hip flex, or sorry, knee flexion, which is gonna really help develop that part of the quad that most guys are lacking. And for the reps and sets, guys, we're gonna be doing five sets of six to eight. It's a slightly higher rep range. Five sets of six to eight, two to three minute rests, and we're looking for a four second negative. So basically good control negative. Good, so one thing Mike, just pause. Keep your neck neutral the whole time. So you don't want to keep your neck. That's it, just neutral neck the whole time. So on the way down, you're almost going to be looking downwards. If he doesn't do a four second count, he doesn't earn the rep. One, two, three. You almost missed that one, slow it down. One, two, three. Keep your, good, it's getting better. This is his first time doing this, so it's good. Feel a little different than having the wife on the back? Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> control, 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 right there. That's better. Just don't move. Just don't move. Yeah, control, 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 contract. Good. Control, control, contract. You have to understand what part of the movement is going to give me the best bang for my buck. It's controlling the bottom portion and involving as much musculature as possible at the bottom. Oh shit, it's hard again. Better come back up. But that's what you have to train your body to do. You have to train it to go somewhere where it's never been before. You have to find those inches that your body says, holy crap, if you take me here, I better rebuild because I don't ever want to feel this again. That's better. That's your depth, one more like that. Keep going, keep going, there you go. There you go. That's how breakthroughs happen. Yeah. Stuff, guys. Up. Got Go, this. Push it, push it. Don't Stay strong. You, you. Right there, that's good, that's up. good, that's up. good. Up. Push, 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 push. Right. He's out, he's out. He's done. All right. Rack it, rack it. Once those knees were pretty much touching, <laughs> yeah, you were long gone. Yeah. But when I see that, I just take them right back up. Okay, no, just, yeah. There's no point, there's, you're, there's no more benefit. Okay. Last exercise for this first workout today are hack squats. So we're going to a machine. We always save machines for the end. Because as the workout goes on, we get dumb. We start to lose our senses. We start to lose our marbles, so we need to go on to a safer, machine to create the stimulus. You guys are fry now, central nervous systems are just pretty much in the toilet. So we're going to hack squats, five sets, six to eight reps, two seconds down, two seconds up, it's a bit of a tempo, heavy loads, 90 seconds rest. Ideally what we want to do is find a foot position we haven't used for the front squat or back squat, right? This is called rotating your tires. So you want to find somewhere that allows you to get maximal quad contraction though. So come down as low as you can, and the first thing you think about is pushing the, pushing the plate, that's the plate down there, push the plate away. Put your feet up a little higher, put your feet up, there you go, that should not, tell me how that feels. Down lower, there you go. Don't favor any one part of your foot, you've got an entire foot, use it all. Control it my man, control it, control it. There you go. Just need you to control the weight, yep. Yeah. The more you control the weights, the more you'll be able to challenge your muscles. There's nothing wrong with going deep, but you have to, am I, are you still engaged? Are you still involved? Are the muscles being contracted? 
you can I can go super deep too, but there's no contraction anymore. Okay. So where's the load going? Okay. It's not on the quads. It's getting dumped into your tendons, your ligaments. Yeah, it's getting dumped that. everywhere else yeah, but the so quads. Like so that. if this is a quad workout, we need to work out the quads. You contract, back up, now back down. Don't let it off. Keep it on. Back up. Don't let it off. Back down now. Good. There's no rest at the top. We're not. There you go. Keep your. No, give me four more. Come on. Four more. Okay. Let's go. Keep it on. Keep it on. Show the Damani Pro team how you do it. Come on. Keep it on. Yes. Keep, no, you're resting oh, at the sorry, top. Sorry. You get three more for that. Control, control, that's better. Okay, I gave you a six to eight rep goal and you did like 14 reps. So you're sandbagging it, my man. Up the weight. There we go. Good, quads, good, hard quads. Right back down. That's better. That's what I'm looking for. Good. Good. It's a big difference, eh, guys? Yeah. Way to go, man. That's a well-earned way to go. Don't get sloppy. Feet flat. There we go. Good. Feet are flat. Watch it's hard. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Feet are flat. Feet are flat. Come on. Push it. Come on. That's what we're looking for. Woo! Feet flat. Strong, 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 strong. He's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Up. You're done. You're good. You're good. You're good. Good. Nice. Way to go. Okay, that's, <laughs> that's the key quad quadzilla workout. So why don't you guys go around just uh, let's do one takeaway. Just one thing each of you guys learned from that workout. What are you guys gonna take away when you leave today? So keep your quads engaged throughout the entire movement. Uh, keeping them rock solid throughout that the whole mo range of motion. Mainly the portion. Uh, I would say Put your whole foot down, use your whole foot, and uh, try to push through the ground or through the plate, whatever you might be using. Um, one thing I liked during the squats actually was uh, the whole micro uh, increments. So instead of like, like Vince, you always say, checking you go out the door, um, you know, throw on a two and a half and work, like always build, right? So it's always, progression is always good. So. Yeah, just take it slowly and make it correct. Uh, don't stop at the bottom or at the top of the rep. Just keep the weight moving. Just keep the weight moving and, and contract your quads, the muscle. Contract the muscle. Awesome. Good job, guys. All right. All right, see you guys for workout two in a moment. There you go, you're done. Wow. One rep. <laughs> well, to be honest, most guys' sets don't even last for 24 seconds. So although you only did one rep, your 24 seconds of work is the equivalent of most guys' 10 reps of doing this, right? And, and remember, this doesn't do as much as doing this. 